In order to download the Distance Horizon mod in Minecraft, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser and search up Distance Horizons mod. Then from here, go ahead and select on the first link that appears. It should be from curseforge.com and then you will be greeted by a sleek page that looks like this. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the right side and select on what version of Minecraft you would like to utilize Distance Horizons on. Now for this video, I'm going to go ahead and install Distance Horizon for Minecraft 1.21. So I'm going to go ahead and select on 1.21 right over here. And then all you want to do is go ahead and install the most recent version of the mod. So it's right over here. So all you want to do is you want to go to the right side and select on these three dots and then go ahead and press on download file. And then it should be downloaded to your device. And for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag out the file to my desktop just so you guys are able to see things a bit easier. Now for this particular version of Distance Horizons, what we need to do is we need to either use Fabric or NeoForge, which are mod loaders, and mod loaders essentially allow you to run mods on Minecraft, and there's multiple different types. However, for this mod in particular, we need to utilize either Fabric or NeoForge, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download Fabric if you don't have it installed already. Downloading Fabric or any other mod loader is honestly incredibly easy. All you want to do is look up Fabric, download, and then you should be greeted by this page right over here, FabricMC.net, and then all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu select on the option that says download and then go ahead and select over here where it says download universal jar and then it will now install the fabric installer to your device and again for clarity purposes i'm going to go ahead and drag out the fabric installer to my desktop just to make this tutorial more easier to follow okay so now that you downloaded these two files the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the fabric installer in order to do that we're going to be right clicking on it then we're going to go ahead and select on open with and if your device already has java installed you should see an option that says java and then tm platform se binary but if you don't have it do not worry because I'm going to show you guys how to get Java. It's incredibly easy. So again, in order to download Java, all you need to do is just look up Java download on any web browser. Then all you want to do is you want to go to this website called oracle.com. Oracle.com will provide you with the most up-to-date Java downloads. From here, all you want to do is scroll down and then you want to make sure you select on JDK21 because we will need to utilize Java 21 in order to run these mods. Once you're over here, you want to go ahead and install the proper version depending on whether you're on Linux, Mac OS, or on Windows. So I'm on Windows, so I would go over here to where it says Windows, and I would install the x64 installer right over here. So go ahead and just download this. But essentially, once you have Java installed on your device, you will be able to open up any type of Java files or .jar files incredibly easily. But anyways, guys, once you have Java, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Fabric installer with Java right over here. And if we did everything correctly, we should get a pop-up that looks like this. And the first thing we'll do, it'll ask us for the Minecraft version. So you want to make sure that everything is consistent. So recall, earlier in the video, we were working with Minecraft 1.21. So I'm going to go ahead and install Fabric for Minecraft 1.21 right over here. It will say loader version and it will tell you where it will be downloaded. But once you got everything ready, go ahead and press on install. And if we did everything correctly, it will say that the Fabric loader has been successfully installed to our device. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on OK. Then you can go ahead and exit out of the Fabric installer right over here. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. OK, so once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure that you're over here where it says Minecraft job edition and usually it'll automatically set your installation to the fabric loader that you did just download but if you don't see it right over here then all you want to do is you want to go to this tab that says installations then you want to go ahead and just make sure that the fabric loader is here you want to go ahead and press on new installation and where it says version go ahead and search for it right over here but if that does not work what i recommend you do is on the top right where it says version you turn on the option that says modded because fabric loader as an installation is considered a modded installation so you want to make sure that that's turned on. And if we did everything correctly, then it should be there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to put our mod inside of Minecraft. And the way we're going to be doing that is we're going to go over here to our installations tab where we are right now. And all we need to do is we need to locate the fabric loader. So ours is right over here. And all you want to do is you want to go to the right and then select on this folder icon right over here. And then it will open up a bunch of folders, but do not get overwhelmed because we only need to focus on one folder and that is mods so over here we got the mods folder and if for whatever reason the mods folder doesn't show up for you then all you want to do is just create the folder yourself by clicking on new and then folder and then calling it mods but you want to make sure that mods is spelled in all lowercase but we got our mods 
mods folder right over here. All right, so then what you want to do is you want to open up the mods folder. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dragging in the distance horizons mod inside of this folder. So all I want to do is just drag it in. Put it in this folder just like so. And once you got that done, you can go ahead and minimize the mods folder. Then go back to the Minecraft launcher. Then go over here to where it says play. Then make sure that you have the fabric loader selected right over here for, of course, the proper version of Minecraft. Then all you want to do is go ahead and press on play and then press on this checkbox that says I understand and then go ahead and proceed to play. All right, guys. And we now load it into Minecraft and you will notice that in the bottom left, it will say fabric and then modded. And that is how you know you did the right thing. So all you want to do from here is go ahead and and open up a Minecraft world. And here we are guys loaded into a Minecraft world with the distance horizons mod. And as you're able to tell, we do have some pretty serious render distance, but obviously all you need to do is go to the options and then select on over here in order to customize things a bit more. So here's where you can configure the distance horizons mod for yourself. So feel free to go ahead, play around with this, make sure to fill it around with it and honestly have fun because this mod is honestly really cool. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.